Hi, in my last video, we have used this two PoE standard to convert the regular PoE switch into long range PoE switch. In this video, we are going to talk about the difference between the long range PoE switch and this regular PoE switch. First, let's recap what we have done in the last video. We put this two PoE standard both end and connect to this 1000 feet continuous run Ethernet cable. Now the camera is live. The regular PoE switch is supplying the power and data up to 1000 feet for this IP camera. But the one thing we're missing we didn't talk about in last video is about the PoE equipment. The, now this is the PoE IP camera. What if we connect the end of the cable to a non-PoE equipment? Like this router. Will it work? Negative. Negative. If we just connect the end of the cable to this router, it will not work. The problem is, in the standard PoE system, there always has power handshaking. Before this PoE switch send the power over this cable, it need to classify, verify HDYs also support PoE. It's just the PoE protocol to protect your HDYs. But now we just connect this non-PoE equipment to the end of the cable, and this non-PoE equipment will not respond to the inquiry from the PoE switch. So eventually, this PoE switch will not release the power through this cable, and this two PoE standard will not get the power. So if they don't get the power, the whole system will not work. Not work. The workaround is quite simple. We can use this PoE splitter. This is the PoE splitter. And we can connect the end of the cable to the input of the PoE splitter. And now we got the output. You can see the indicator is on. The PoE splitter will respond to the inquiry from the PoE switch. So eventually, the PoE splitter, the PoE switch will send the power through this cable. We just need to use another short punch code to link the output to the router. So inventory, we got the data from the router between the switch. OK, let me remove all this connection and connect back to the camera. This is the four port long range PoE switch. Let's get the PoE switch and see if there any different. It looks very similar as the regular switch. Actually, there's no different. The first port and second port support long runs. The third port and the fourth port, it's just the regular PoE output. And we got two uplink ports. Here we have the power input. OK, now let me just power up the switch. After I power up, now I need to remove, I don't need require the first PoE standard because the run runs chipset already built into this PoE switch. So I can remove the PoE first PoE standard. There's no need for the first PoE standard and the short punch code. Let me connect the cable from the never video recorder to the link port. What I have to do is just connect to port number one or port number two, one of the long range PoE port. And you can see the indicator is on, which means now the long range PoE switch is start, start providing the power. Also, if the data is changed, the, indic the data indicator is start flashing. Let's just wait for a while before we can see the live video on the monitor. Now the camera is live again. So the first difference is the long range chipset already built into this long range PoE switch. There is no need to add for the keep this first PoE standard. But you may wonder why we still need the second PoE standard. It's quite easy to understand. The, you see the communication is both weight. Even this long range PoE switch can supply up to 1000 feet network connection. But for this camera, it's just a regular camera. It needs to have the PoE standard to return the signal up to 1,000 feet. That's the reason why we still need to keep the second PoE standard. The second thing is about the power. For this regular PoE switch, it only uses half of the trip pair to send the power. So the maximum power budget output from the single port is limited to 30 watt. But for this long-range PoE switch, 
it will take all the four trace pair to send the power. So it can, we can connect the cable to a pan zoom camera directory to supply up to 1,000 feet 30 watt power output. It uses all the twist pair, so we don't need to use the like the high power PO injector like what I mentioned in the last video. All right, that's all for today's video. If you have any question, please post it in the comment section below. See you next time.